Hi flyers and sim lovers. So we have finally found a fix for the long and infinite bug in the MSFS where the sim is stuck on the checking for updates which is a never ending check. Many of us have had lost the hope of flying and of course who wants to download the whole 150 GB again. Now rest assured that you will not have to download the whole 150 GB sim again and again. So let's start with the video. Before starting with the fix, let us know that why is this happening so that you can also understand the fix. The issue is from the server end and not your sim files. Even I was surprised to know this because the sim would sometimes prompt me to download approx 140 GB of files again. What happens is there are some file dependencies and version conflict between MSFS update servers and the files we have in the packages folder. Due to this difference or conflict in the version, the sim would either keep checking for updates or would give you the option to download the whole sim again. It usually happens after few weeks of an update being released, the dependencies get fixed from the server end but you locally still have the files you got from the previous update. Thanks Jalexo for pointing this error and also giving a fix on the MSFFs forums. So the credit goes to him. However, I have extended the fix a slightly bit so that this can be a little helpful. However, the main credit goes to Jalexo. I will not go any deeper into this. Let's start with the fix. On the checking for update screen, when you feel it's not gonna pass this, open device manager, expand networks, select the network controller driver and disable it. Wait for approx 30 to 60 seconds. This sim would trigger a no connection box and this is what we need. The switch offline button. Smash it and you will be so happy to see the sim loading and even I was when I had no hope of the same. Do note that I am using LAN cable connected to my PC. If you use Wi-Fi, disconnect from the network and that should get you offline. If it doesn't, disable the wireless adapter from the device manager. You will find that too in the network adapters. Basically, we want to disconnect from any internet connection. Now go back to the device manager and enable the network adapter controller which will make the internet connection active. Do not worry, the sim will start in an offline mode but it's easier to make it online again without any restart. At least we got the sim running. To get back online in the sim, go to the options, general, data and turn on the internet connection and save it. The sim will show you successfully connected. Make sure the Xbox app is updated and running. No problem if it isn't. As soon as you launch the Xbox app, MSFS will go online. So this was it. Now do note that you will not be able to go to the main menu with MSFS being connected to the internet. So you will have to turn off the internet connectivity of the sim before you would want to get back to the main menu screen or exit your flight else you will stuck in a loading loop for example if you complete your flight and you would like to go back to the main menu of course to quit the sim in case you are still playing on active internet connection with internet connectivity turned on in the simulator you will get stuck in the loading loop so to get back successfully in the main menu after completing the flight turn off the internet connectivity and then get back to the main menu screen alternatively you do have the option to download the whole sim again or you may delete some recent files which came in the update however the fix of deleting the files the whole files or redownloading the game the sim it's not a guaranteed fix you may still end up in the loop after downloading the whole sim and many people have already faced this issue so it's best to either delete some recent files which came in the update or switch to the offline mode and enjoy your sim because you can get it online anytime. So if your luck is great, you will get a few GB update after deleting the recent update files or you may not. So that completely depends on your luck too. I hope you found this helpful and useful. Please like if you did, do subscribe and do share with others as well because we flyers we all want to fly and such things makes the situation worse and many of us have had lost the hope of flying so do share and thanks for watching i will see you in another video of msfs